Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous video, we have seen about nautical constraints in PostgreSQL. So in this video, we will cover the topic of unique constraint in PostgreSQL database. So unique constraints are to ensure that data contained in a column or a group of columns is must to be among all the rows in a table. Uh, what are they and uh, how we can maintain the uniqueness of data? So let's see. The syntax to write the unique constraint is very simple and straightforward. We just need to mention the unique in front of the column that we want to be unique. And this is the column level syntax. And also we can write it as at the table level as well like this. So both works same and they both are correct. So let's create the table first. The table is created. Now let's try to insert the data. If I insert the first record, this will allow me to insert. The record is inserted because the product number is 101. The second one, it will also insert because this product number is different from the product number already inserted. So let's try. Okay, the data is inserted. Now this one will fail because we know that we have declared the product number as unique key. So we are trying to again insert the value 101 which is already inserted earlier. So let's try this. This will fail definitely. Okay, the data insert failed and we got the violation of unique key constraint. The constraint is products product number key. So the name of the constraint is automatically given by the PostgreSQL and obviously we can give our name as well. We'll see shortly. Also, we can define a uniqueness for a table using multiple columns that is more than one column or it can be group of some columns. So let's see such example as well. Here what we are trying to do is we are trying to make the unique combination of column A and column C. Whatever data we insert, the combination of column value A and C must be unique. So let's create the table first. Now let's see insert example. The first record will be inserted. Second one will also get inserted because the combination of A and C are different from earlier one inserted and the third one this will also insert it because we are inserting the value a as one which is already inserted but the value c is different in the previous insert the value was 20 so this is still a unique combination of a and c so this will also allow okay this is also allowed now in this example what will happen this will fail because we have already inserted the a and c value as 1 and 20 and we are trying to insert the same again so when we tried it it failed and we got the unique constraint violation error. This name is also given by PostgreSQL and also we can give our own name as well. Now let's see in the next example how we can give the name to our unique key constraint. So let's create the table again. The table we had created in the first example except here we are trying to give our own name that is must be different unique key. So let's create the table. The table is created. Now let's try inserting data. First record will be inserted. The second one will also get inserted because 201 and 202 are different product numbers. Now let's try to insert the third one. This will fail because the product number is same. That is already inserted 201. So let's see. Okay, the product number is same and the insert is failed and we got the exception of must be different unique key constraint violated. So there are some points that we need to remember. A unique key constraint whenever it is created on PostgreSQL, it is automatically going to create a B tree index on the column that are specified. It can be one column or it can be combination of columns that we see in the previous examples. However, if a uniqueness condition applies only to certain rows. It can be enforced using a unique parcel index rather than a unique constraint. A unique constraint is violated if multiple rows have identical values in all the constraint columns. So by default what happens when two nulls are inserted, they are treated as equal. So it allow to insert the multiple rows with the null value. In PostgreSQL, by default, two nulls are not treated as equal. So it allows duplicate rows with the null value. For example, in the product table, if we insert the product number as null multiple times, it will allow because it will not distinct that null are different values because we know the nulls are treated as unknown value. It cannot be compared with any other values. In PostgreSQL, this behavior can be modified by using this clause nulls not distinct clause to treat the nulls as equal. So after that, what will happen? It will allow only one null value. After that, when we insert a second time null value it will say the unique key constraint violated so let's see the example 
now let's first create the table and for that also we have two syntax both are equal we can define it as a column level or we can define it as a table level so let's create the table first okay the table is created now let's try to insert the values the first value will insert with a product number value the record is inserted now if we insert the second row it will also get inserted because the null is the first instance here the record is inserted because it was the first time that a null value was passed to product number and also we haven't declared the product number as not null so one null value is allowed now if we try to insert the null value again so it will fail it will say that one null value is already there so we cannot insert another null value so let's try it see the key product number null value already exists and duplicate key violates the unique key constraint this didn't allow multiple null values in PostgreSQL the default behavior of treating null values are distinct in unique constraint can be explicitly specified using nulls distinct for example, if in our case, we want to have multiple null values in unique key constraint, so we can modify that as well, but it varies as per SQL standards. So we need to remember that and be careful when we implement this in unique key constraint. So let's see how we can store multiple null values in unique key constraint. So for that, let's create the table. In this case also, we can create the table with the key at column level and as well as at the table level. Now let's insert the data. The first data will be inserted. Yes. And when we insert the second record, this will also get inserted because this is the first null value. And the third one also inserted because we have allowed multiple null values in this case. So this is also inserted. So in these examples, we saw how we can create unique key constraints and the impact of it. And we saw some examples as well that ensures the data integrity and it prevents the duplicate values as per the constraint. So if the video was helpful, do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications for upcoming videos. In the next video, we'll see about primary keys in PostgreSQL database. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye.